Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. A couple of weeks ago, OnePlus has updated their flagship duo OnePlus 3 and 3T with the latest Android Nougat 7.1.1, but there was no major change in terms of design and UI. But finally OnePlus has rolled out a major update for both the devices in the form of Oxygen OS Open Beta, and this update brings a major redesign in terms of UI and added tons of feature including a new launcher which looks exactly like Pixel with the swipe up gesture for the app drawer. So basically in this video, I am going to show you what are the major changes and added features in this new update and if you haven't updated your device yet, then I had made a separate video on that too. So do check out the description box for the link or you can click the cards at the right corner of your screen. So now with that being said, let's start. First, redesign UI and new launcher. The very first thing that you will notice after updating your device is the new revamped version of launcher which will definitely remind you of Pixel. Maybe OnePlus is trying to become the next Pixel by following the same design language and I think they have the potential. Swipe up gesture will give you access to the app drawer which is also redesigned. One of the best things that I like about this UI is that it gives you the ability to change icons according to your liking, which means you can download any icon pack from the Play Store and apply it to change the look and feel of your device. But previously you have the ability to customize your icons but unfortunately that has been removed. Other major change in the UI department is the new app shortcut feature which is again taken from Pixel. App Shortcut is basically a software level implementation which works like 3D Touch in iOS and that you can now press and hold on compatible apps to display a context menu of App Shortcuts. All the Google apps support this feature but inbuilt apps and third party apps doesn't support this yet. Second Secure Box Now if you are very sensitive about your files on your device then you will definitely like this feature. OnePlus has added a built-in option in the file manager to securely encrypt and hide your files. In the file manager, you will find a new option at the bottom right which says secure box. Click on that and first time you have to set a password. Now to secure your file, you just have to select it and click on the menu option and select set as secure and boom, your files are moved to the secure box. You can log into the secure box either using password or your registered fingerprint. Third, gaming mode. The navigation keys could be very irritating while playing games and to overcome this, OnePlus has added a gaming mode that will basically lock the capacitive keys while gaming. And you can also enable or disable do not disturb mode according to your preference. You can also add games for which you want to enable this gaming mode automatically. Fourth, quick pay. If you are one of those who like to pay using virtual wallet like Paytm or any other service, then you will be glad to know that OnePlus has made your payments more secure and easy to access in the form of quick pay. By using this, you can pay by just long pressing the home button with the registered fingerprint and the app will pop up and scan the QR code to make the payment. Now you don't have to go through with the app itself, but as of now, this feature is only available in India according to the official statement. 5th Automatic Night Mode Night Mode is present in Android since a while, but Automatic Night Mode, hmm, that's something new. In the display setting, you will find an option called Night Mode, inside which you will find Automatic Night Mode, which will basically turn on the Night Mode either when the sun sets or you can also customize the timing according to your preference. This time you can also adjust the yellow tint towards a colder or warmer tone, for which a big thumbs up to OnePlus. 6th Notification Denoising Now if you go through the notification setting, there you will find a new option which says Notification Denoising. This option will basically disable the notification pop-up for a specific app, but it will show it in the notification panel. To enable this, select the app and turn on Notification Denoising and you are done. You can also long press on a notification to set this feature. When you choose this for a particular app, the app's notification will be grayed out and will be shown at the bottom and can be seen only when you swipe down to see the notifications. These notifications will only appear on the notification bar or the lock screen. 
Seventh, network speed indicator. If you are a long time custom ROM user, then I'm sure you will be aware of this feature. This feature will basically enables user to monitor the network speed and you can enable or disable this from the status bar setting. So guys, these are the seven major changes in this new update. Beside this, some minor changes include call recording support which enables you to record live calls, improved contact management and optimized electronic image stabilization for better video stabilization. So guys, if you like this video and find it useful, then do subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.